One of the important activities of mathematics is taking something that, quote, everybody knows about and examining it from every possible angle in the hopes that we'll find out even more than what everybody knows. So let's take a deeper look at coordinates. So let's start off with our set of vectors and let's consider any linear combination of this set of vectors. And so notice that this linear combination is completely specified by the n coefficients a1 through a n. So I can take the n tuple a1 through a n and call these the coordinates of my vector x with respect to my set of vectors v. Now at this point we haven't committed ourselves to what this vector set v looks like, but if v is a basis for some vector space v, then the coordinates of this vector x will be unique and conversely. And this is something you should be able to prove. Since it's possible for there to be more than one basis for a given vector space, suppose I have two different basis sets for our vector space. We might consider the following problem. To convert the coordinates of x with respect to one basis into coordinates with respect to the other basis. So in order to solve this problem, what we're going to need to do is we'll need to set up and solve a system of linear equations. So if the coordinates of x with respect to p are a1 through a n and b1 through bn with respect to q, then because they are supposed to be coordinates for the same point, I know that the linear combination with the coefficients a1 through a n has to be equal to the linear combinations b1 through bn. We can view this in matrix form. On the left hand side, we have the matrix consisting of the columns p1 through pn and the column vector of the coordinates a1 through a n. On the right hand side, we have the matrix consisting of the columns q1 through qn and the column vector corresponding to the coordinates with respect to q. And purely for notational convenience, we'll let p be the matrix whose columns are the basis p and q be the matrix whose columns are the basis q and that allows us to write our equation as matrix P times the column vector of the coordinates equals matrix Q times the column vector of the coordinates. Now by assumption, we know both P and Q because we have the basis P and the basis Q. We also know all of the AIs because those are the coordinates of our vector with respect to P. So that says that we can solve for the BIs by multiplying by the multiplicative inverse of Q, provided that this multiplicative inverse exists. More generally, this is the left inverse of Q. So let's see how that works in practice. So here I'll have a basis for a two-dimensional vector space. I'll have a different basis for the same vector space. And suppose the coordinates of some vector x with respect to our first basis are 3, 1. Let's see if we can find the coordinates with respect to our second basis. So let's go ahead and try and set that up. If we have the coordinates of x with respect to u are u1, u2, then we know that the product 3, 5, 4, 7 times 3, 1 is going to be the product 1, 1, 4, 3 times u1, u2. And again, it'll help to remember what this really means. This is a linear combination that consists of taking 3 of the vector 3, 4 and 1 of the vector 5, 7. And those correspond to the coordinates of x with respect to our first vector space v. What we want to do is we want to find the linear combination of 1, 4 and 1, 3 that give us the same vector. So what I can do to solve for this vector u1, u2, I can multiply on the left by the inverse of 1, 1, 4, 3. And we can find that in any number of ways. We find the inverse and we multiply on the left by it and get u1, u2 as a product of three matrices, which ends up being negative 23, 37. And because there's a lot of places where the arithmetic may have gone wrong, let's verify this. So what we're claiming is that the linear combination 3 of 3, 4 
and 1 of 5, 7 is going to be the same as negative 23 of 1, 4 and 37 of 1, 3. So let's check it out. 3 of 3, 4 plus 1 of 5, 7 is 14, 19 and negative 23 of 1, 4 and 37 of 1, 3 is also 14, 19 and so these are the coordinates with respect to our vector u.